Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Um, I am feeling great. I just washed my face, so if it's red, that's why. I'm gonna use the Ordinary, um, this is the product. It is the Ordinary um, Peeling Solution. I saw Keaton post this on her Instagram story, and it looked really fun, so I'm gonna do it. I've never had anything from the Ordinary, but I've heard it's like amazing, so looks a little crazy. I just like don't know if this, oh my gosh, I look literally insane. So you're supposed to leave this on for 10 minutes, and then you peel it off, and your skin is supposed to be like really soft after, soft after. Um, oh my gosh. I look crazy. If you guys are new here, subscribe. Okay. Also, I just put on this Drunk Elephant body lotion. I really like it. It's thin, but still really moisturizing. Like, it's not too thick. Um, and you don't need to use that much. Like, a little goes a long way, which is nice, because I feel like this is not the biggest container. Um, but it actually lasts because you just don't need that much. And I actually really like it. So, I'll have it linked down below. Alright, um, I just rinsed off my mask and then I put on my Summer Fridays new balm. Um, Coco is at my door. This is a lip butter balm. I love it. I love Summer Fridays, so I was really excited to get this. Um, but it's just incredible. Alright, I'm sitting on the floor in my room because my um, outlets in my bathroom don't work. And I basically have to get them replaced, but obviously like, I can't really do that right now. So anyways, um, my skin is like super 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 soft from that treatment i haven't put on like a moisturizer or anything yet because i just wanted to see what it felt like but it's definitely really soft and the ordinary is like so inexpensive everyone is raving about it i honestly kind of want to do a video where i try out like all of their products um i also want to film a loungewear collection video and i think i'm actually going to do that so anyways um i'm actually going to curl my hair because for some reason, I just feel like it. I actually want to do a loungewear collection video, and I think I'm going to. So that's exciting, but I'm literally curling my hair for no reason because I'm cleaning today, so there's literally no reason. Um, and I'm curling my hair on the floor of my, my room. I don't even, like, curl my hair um, with a mirror. I literally just suction it off, and then I curl it, and then I'm like, all right, and then I brush it out. I don't even use a mirror. It's like, you know probably not the best um but that's that i also think i have a package coming from sephora today as well um that package if you guys watched the vlog where it went to my neighbor's house or something i don't even know something happened with it anyway sephora sent me a new one which is really nice of them i'm gonna curl my hair so i actually have something you know going on okay so i curled my hair and for some reason day of all days when i'm really just planning on cleaning i don't know i mean i would like to film the collection this afternoon, so we'll see if that happens because my dad has to bring my laundry over. As we know, my laundry fiasco during quarantine. Um, but he has to bring that over and that has like all of my clothes because you know, obviously I wait until I have nothing to wear, which is why I'm wearing like biker shorts right now. But I thought I would just do some makeup. I don't really know why. I'm just like <gasps> bored. Okay, well, obviously, I've been loving my Marula Oil from Drunk Elephant. This has been one of my, like, favorite skincare products, Holy Grails, for probably, like, two years now, I think. Was that two years ago? Does anyone remember my vlogs in LA? I think it was two years ago. When I, I think I found Drunk Elephant, like, one summer, and I became, like, absolutely obsessed with them, and I swear by this Marula Oil, it's so amazing. Um, I've really been liking this also on a day that I don't this is under the camera. Okay. Also on days that I don't really wear um, makeup, which is, you know, every other day besides today. I really love this product. I feel like I've shown you guys it. It's been in all the newsletters. It's for some reason not focusing, but it's a super good glow screen. This stuff gives you like such an amazing like finish to your skin. I use the curling iron, the dry bar one that I don't love as much as the other one, but I'm just like hoping that my hair just definitely like falls a little bit. I just don't like the top of my hair as much. And obviously like I need a haircut and I feel like my hair is just not healthy, which is why I'm excited for my hair oil to finally arrive. As I've mentioned like literally, I know 13,000 times. I am going to use maybe even like a full coverage thing. Am I really that crazy? Um, I think I will. The Bye Bye Foundation. I don't know what is getting into me today, guys. Um, I really like this. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm actually gonna do this Charlotte Tilbury, oh my gosh, 
Wonder Glow, but use it as an actual primer. Um, this is the stuff that you can use as a primer that I typically just use as like a foundation. It offers pretty much no coverage, but it just like makes your skin look better. My skin for some reason looks really red in the viewfinder on camera right now, but in person it's like very narrow down. Like, let me see if I can show you this way. No, it just for some reason it looks super red on camera. But. So I'm gonna use the A Cosmetics foundation. I saw on this blogger's Instagram story that I follow that A Cosmetics was selling like this brush and two of these for like $50, which is such a good deal. So I ordered that, but I haven't really used the foundation much because, you know, we've been in quarantine. So I actually don't even know if I've used it at all, honestly. Maybe one time in a vlog. Like, I don't know. I love the A Cosmetics CC cream, but this is the Bye Bye Foundation. So obviously like more coverage. Also for the past few days, I've gotten like really small breakouts and I don't know if it's like out of stress because I normally don't have them. Okay, I actually have the Bye Bye Concealer as well. This um, is a Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. It's really, really great. My mom was telling me yesterday how much she loves, because you're talking about it cosmetics, how much she loves um, like the concealer and the CC cream and how like nothing compares and I just couldn't agree more. So I'm gonna kind of let that set for a second. I'm gonna use my, guys, my brows just like really need to be done and I just really don't want to deal with it right now. So I'm gonna brush them out, but you know when you put gel on your brows that need to be done and it kind of makes them look worse? That's kind of what's been happening, but like I don't really have an option because if I don't, then it looks even, it looks just, either way, it doesn't look amazing, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's fine, we're fine. Guys, I miss like home goods, I miss just walking around. Like, I just, even people were like the TJ Maxx and the Ross and stuff, like how you just miss going in there, like, I don't go in there often. So far, I will say they have really good random home deals, um, but I just miss it also. Um, random, but I'm finally out. Not finally. I'm actually there's like a few sprays left. Maybe one flower bomb This is like my favorite perfume. I actually got this at Nordstrom Rack um, I love the Nordstrom Rack at Park Lane in Dallas. It just has such great things Like I literally have seven bare Dreams blankets because they're only $50 there um, But I just love All that stuff and I just miss walking around aimlessly. I miss my friends so freaking much like I don't know. How are you guys doing? How are, um, how are you feeling? I've read, guys, I've read 10 books of quarantine, five of them being within like one week. Okay, I read so much last week. I'll show you guys my iPad, what I've been reading, like books I recommend and stuff. But I've been taking so many notes. Like I literally took 25 pages of notes on one book alone. So that says anything, you know? Okay, I'm gonna use It Cosmetics by my pores. I'm really not trying to make this a full It Cosmetics thing, but I got this milk makeup powder and I really love milk, but like I hate, how when you open this i hate the like actual basically like application of it so i don't really use it but i actually like the finish but anyways this just said a little bit better i'm going to go in as you guys know um i've been loving this highlight and contour palette from charlotte tilbury so i'm going to go in really quickly with that stuff i find that this is just like a little bit lighter um and not super muddy on my face which i really like then i just put on some blush Oh my gosh, guys, I watched a movie last night. I literally cannot remember what it was called. I will always mess it up. It was pretty good though. It was about, uh, it was really sad actually. Okay, I'm putting on the highlight. I think it was Lost Girls or something, but basically um, it follows a true story. So it's really sad and it kind of follows like these murders of um, five like essentially like sex workers and how like the police just like weren't paid like, the police just like weren't taking it seriously. It seemed on the movie, and I'm pretty sure it seemed like this in real life, that they just like weren't valuing them as like human beings. And it's like people are people, you still, like it's just so messed up. Um, but it's really sad. Like they called, um, like this girl called the um, police and they didn't show up for like an hour. And then anyways, they end up like finding all these girls and she's like really sad. It was like heartbreaking, but I watched that. That was pretty good. I really like this lip liner. I started a new medication and I have like had no appetite and that's just like not good. I normally wake up, I'm gonna use this mascara. I know I said I don't love it, but like I'm just gonna try it and see. See if I can make myself love it, I don't know. Um, anyways, I've had no appetite. Part of me was like, is this anxiety? But I think it, like, it started as soon as I started my new meds, so like that would make the most sense. 
but I normally wake up starving and like the most I can even get myself to eat if that is like a little cereal it's so hard to get me to eat like full meals the only thing I can really eat is like apples and peanut butter it's so annoying like the only thing that sounds good I make myself eat just because obviously like I need to eat but it's just so weird like I literally am never hungry like, now I'm gonna set I literally came upstairs just to do that ordinary face peel thing and here I am with full face of makeup and my hair curled so anyways I don't have much that I need to do today besides like clean um, my house isn't even really that messy all of my rooftop furniture has come in update but it's like so heavy and it's gonna be really difficult to like bring upstairs so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm not rushing that it is, it is in my garage so that's good I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing we'll see but um, yeah, pretty much just cleaning, organizing today, going on my laptop, like reading. I mean, there's nothing like too crazy, honestly. I have schoolwork, but I'm pretty sure I'm done with it for the week. My weeks on for school, um, they start on Wednesdays, they end on Tuesdays. It's kind of weird, I don't know. I just feel like, honestly, from like Thursday to Sunday, I didn't really do too much. Like, I had a few, I had like a movie day. It was Easter, like all that stuff, and I don't think I did that much, but yeah, guys, I don't know. This is just literally the weirdest time ever, as I'm sure we all know. So, so I haven't even cleaned yet. I've been writing a paper. I have like a 15-page paper due next week, so that's what I've been doing along with other homework that I just need to be done with. But my Sephora package came, and something else did as well. That one is probably from Amazon, so it's not exciting. Um, but this is the infamous package that I've been waiting on for over a month. The first thing I got is my Whey hair oil. If you guys have not tried this before, you guys, I'm trying to do like old school YouTube to focus. Um, you need to. Nothing has helped my hair more than this hair oil. And I mean that. It's like, the, it's a 10 conditioner. It doesn't even touch this. Like, this is next level. Paired with the leave-in conditioner. I like the leave-in conditioner, but I don't think it's the best thing ever. But something about pairing those two together makes your hair feel like incredible. And then I got the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I just got the smaller version because I knew I had another one. I just can't find it. Um, the tr cars outside my house are so loud today. But this is just a really small version. If you guys haven't tried this mask, it's amazing. I leave it on sometimes as like an overnight treatment. You can use it as primer. I mean, you can like literally use this as anything. So it's really great. And then I also got, this vlog is very Summer Fridays themed. Um, they came out with a CC Me serum and I've been wanting to try it for the longest time. So I finally got it. Um, I wanna see like what the consistency is like. I just love Summer Fridays. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Wow. Also, I saw that everyone's using the like Impress nails, the Kiss nails or whatever. I love those actually. I did a deal with them. Where did I put the top to this? Maybe there wasn't a top. I guess there wasn't. Um, I did a deal with them so long ago. And at first I was like, no, I declined the deal because I thought like press on nails were just all bad. And then my management or someone was like, no, Kinti, you need to try these and see. So I tried them out just to see. And I was like so impressed by them. I remember like before telling my family about them. Anyways, so I'm glad that everyone's been using those because they're really good. I don't have any here. I have a lot in my house in LA. So my friend literally, update on the move in LA. Okay, I don't think I've talked about this in a while, but our lease is actually ending end of April now. And we had that happen before obviously like Corona and all of that. So now like obviously I can't get to LA to move out. So I have to like hire a friend basically to move all my stuff out, which is okay because everything I really wanted for the most part, um, I have in LA. Other than that, like the rest of it was gonna be like sold or donated or whatever. So it's not the biggest deal. And I mean, my friend's like unemployed. My, well, most of my friends are like unemployed. So it's like nice to, you know, give them a job, but still it sucks. And it's been like, honestly, it gives me anxiety. Like thinking about it, I cannot wait for the month of April to be over for so many reasons, but yeah. It was really something. All right, guys, I think it is 7 p.m. Um, honestly, I ended up just watching True Crime. Didn't clean, really did nothing that I was planning on doing, but that's quarantine for you. Anyways, my chair for my office finally came and I got a package, so I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Okay, my office is like pretty messy right now, so ignore that. Look at how cute the chair is. Now I just have to pick out a rug. 
it just makes the room so much cozier. I'm gonna do my reading there every morning. These tables are really not for the look, they're for like more of function. Um, they come in handy all the time with filming and everything, but also I can like put my books there, do whatever. I'm so out of breath right now, <laughs> but I need to hang this up there, so maybe I'll do that tonight. Um, but I just like literally love this chair. It's from Overstock, I'll have it linked down below in case any of you guys care, but yeah, then this is my desk. I need one big rug, and then I'm pretty good on this room for now. Like, I'll eventually figure everything else out, but I think the rug will at least, and a plant will make it homey. I'm so out of breath. I just carried this all the way from my garage to my third story, third floor, whatever. Also, like, I really do just need to organize and stuff. Like, this is so messy. I just have this map that I never use, some other things, and, like, this is just... It's all a mess. I really need to go through everything. It's not even going to be hard to go through. It, there's barely even anything in here, but I just, like, for some reason, can offer myself to do it. I might actually go ahead and record this week's intro for the podcast and stuff, too. Um, but, oh, really quickly, I wanted to show you guys what I got. Okay, so if you guys follow my podcast or the Instagram or anything, or you guys have seen me talk about the tent, a lot of you guys actually, I know, follow them. Um, it's really awesome if you guys were, like, new to faith or anything, I would definitely recommend it, checking them out, but um, my friends, literally, Kinsey and Kinsey, or Kinsey and Mac or whatever, we're all named McKinsey, um, they have Delight Ministries and they have For the Girl, which is their podcast, and then they have The Ten, it's really cool, anyway, Kinsey texted me this week and was like, hey, we want to send you stuff, so this came so quick, but they gave me their two books that they have, this is so cute, I also, like, random fact, this texture, I need to ask them what it is so I know the name of it, of a book is, like, my favorite thing ever, so soft, and then I also have this one, and then they gave me this hoodie. This is bringing heaven to earth, which is super cute. It's also really soft, I just tried it. So anyways, I really like that, it's so cute. Thank you guys so much, you guys should go check them out. All right guys, I'm about to record this week's intro, but look how cute this is getting. Like this is really gonna be something. I really like more of a masculine kind of vibe, so as you guys can see, like that print is gonna be changed, if I even use that in here. Um, but I'm for sure gonna have like a neutral-ish type rug. I still can't pick one out. Um, obviously all this needs to be organized and I'll probably need to get something to like store things over here. I would love a mini fridge, that would be awesome. Um, especially with like recess drinks or something. But yeah, I'm gonna go through and record my intro. Hey guys, so I finally just recorded this. I have to... <laughs> Thank God I somehow found headphones like this in an old bag um, because I have not, uh, or I have to listen to them when I record. I don't know why I'm having all these problems right now. Tomorrow is Brooke's birthday, so I need to send a video to Danielle because they're making this cute little video, which I'm really excited for. So just like happy birthday and a favorite moment of Brooke. Um, this is really hard to pick because I think Brooke is literally the funniest person ever. This is like genuinely very hard for me to choose. So I'm gonna send this video over, but I'm currently sending over like podcasts, like descriptions and stuff to my producer. And I'm gonna figure all that out. I hate that I actually put makeup on today because there's like makeup on my face and I hate that, you know? But one of my best friends texted me or replied to my story because I posted that I was watching True Crime tonight. I felt like Keaton. They said, watch season one of True Detective on HBO. Is that good? Does anyone know? All right, guys, we have to wish Brooke, I'm going to say Danielle, a happy birthday. All right, so these are the books that I have read on during quarantine. So I don't know where that Millennial Money book even came from. Never read that one. Um, Anyways, this is my morning Devo. I've read most of this book. The rest of these nine, I read all of them. Anyways, this, okay, Elimination of Hurry. I'm giving you guys a book review for those of you guys who are trying to find new books for quarantine. Really good, I think it's a perfect book for this time. This is how we are so wired to be doing things 24 seven. So when you actually rest and stuff, it's just, it's like the perfect read for right now. Jessica Simpson's memoir was so good. Demi Moore's memoir, so good. Um, Jessica's was my favorite though. Love Dolly Parton's book, really, really short. Sacred Search, really good. I read that like so quickly. Get Out of Your Head, Jenny Allen. Spiraling or Stopping the Spiral of Toxic Thoughts. Really amazing, really incredible. Heart Rate Hole, I'm currently reading that. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and take notes on this because it's so freaking good. Um, Love at Last, I read that in a day. Very good. Loveology, same thing, read that in a day. Um, but yeah, I have an Amazon shop page with all the books. I always read on my iPad, just in the books app. So yeah, really good. All right guys, my least 
favorite time of day or the week, laundry time. Seriously, it is like my least favorite thing to do ever. All right guys, I actually look so crazy. I'm gonna use the Summer Fridays mask and this is gonna go on uh, it's kind of like an overnight mask, honestly. I'm not gonna take it off. You can use this as a mask or um, look at deep. You can literally, it's a miracle product essentially. You can also just keep it on overnight. I feel like my skin's been super dry, so I'm just gonna lather it on and leave it on overnight. It seriously is like the best mask ever. So it's not all the way rubbed in, but I'm kind of just letting it sit for a second. Next, I'm gonna use the Way hair oil that I have been talking about for the past month. Okay, so first, I am brushing up my hair and I'm gonna spray the Way um, leave-in conditioner. This stuff smells so good. And then I have the Way hair oil. So I put all my laundry away. Everything is organized. And guys, this keeps getting all messed up. This rug is driving me insane, so I need to get rug tape but I'm obviously in my pajamas. So that is it for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Um, hope you guys are having the best time in quarantine. Love you guys and I'll see you soon.